Have you ever found yourself waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. and wondered if there was more to it than just a random sleep disorder? In this video, we delve into the mystical significance of waking up in these early hours, as illuminated by the insightful work of Delora Carlson. Her extensive research on altered states of consciousness, regression therapy, and the subconscious mind reveals why these early morning hours may have more than a simple explanation. Join us on a fascinating journey to discover the spiritual implications of waking up during these hours and what it may mean for our personal spiritual paths. One reason for this is that the veil between the worlds becomes thinner. On our journey to understand the spiritual significance of waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m., we encounter a concept that resonates strongly with Delora Carlson's teachings, the thinning veil between the spiritual and physical worlds. This phenomenon, often referred to as the witching hour, especially at 3 a.m., marks a unique point in time when the boundaries between our physical reality and the spiritual realm become increasingly permeable. Rooted in various cultural and spiritual beliefs, this time is considered ripe for heightened spiritual activity and awareness. This is closely related to Carlson's insights into altered states of consciousness. She often spoke of such moments as opportunities for profound spiritual awakening. This awakening is characterized by heightened awareness and an increase in intuitive insights that reflect a deeper connection to the unseen aspects of reality. These early hours are moments when our consciousness is most receptive to messages and guidance from higher planes of existence. Interactions with the spiritual realm during this time are considered more powerful and direct. This could manifest as the more tangible presence of guardian angels, receiving profound messages in dreams, or experiencing inexplicable spiritual encounters. Carlson's work, which investigates the role of spiritual guides and angels, suggests that waking up during this hour could be subtle communication from these beings. They may offer us guidance, support, or even warnings that are crucial to our spiritual path. Responding to the 3 a.m. awakenings is an essential aspect of spiritual practice, as emphasized in Carlson's teachings. She advocated the importance of meditation, writing down thoughts or dreams, and being open to the spiritual messages conveyed during these times. Reflecting on recurring themes or feelings experienced during these awakenings can offer significant insight into our spiritual journey. Recognizing and embracing these moments, as Carlson suggested, is a step toward deeper spiritual connection and greater understanding of the self within the larger tapestry of the universe. Another reason could be someone calling out to you. In the stillness of the early morning hours, particularly between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m., a unique spiritual phenomenon can occur. During this time, it is believed that our sensitivity to the energies of others is greatly enhanced. This heightened receptivity is fostered by the quiet of our surroundings and the serenity of our minds, creating an ideal state for perceiving and responding to these subtle energies. This is especially evident when someone is thinking intensely about us, whether it's because they miss us, need our help, or are sending us emotionally charged thoughts. Carlson's work addresses the concept that thoughts and emotions are more than internal experiences. They are powerful forms of energy capable of traveling across spiritual planes. This energy has the power to travel great distances, connecting people in ways that transcend conventional physical means of communication. So waking up during these wee hours might not just be a coincidence, but rather an energetic call from someone connected to us on a deeper level. To truly get in touch with these subtle energetic calls, Carlson encouraged a deep trust in one's intuition. This intuitive sense can be sharpened by reflecting on recent interactions or significant relationships in our lives. If you find yourself waking up during these hours, think about the people you are connected to. Is there someone out there who may be thinking of you, needing your energy, or seeking your help? Acknowledging and acting on these connections can strengthen them and offer clarity and comfort to both parties. Carlson also advised paying attention to our feelings and intuitions during these early hours. If the image or thought of a particular person spontaneously comes to mind, it may be more than just a coincidence. It could represent an energetic signal, a subtle but profound form of communication from their soul to yours, bridging the physical and spiritual planes. A third reason is that ideas for manifestation are channeled. In the quiet early morning hours, particularly between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m., it is believed that a remarkable process unfolds. The universe, or higher consciousness, takes the opportunity to channel creative and innovative ideas into people's minds. According to Carlson's extensive research on the subconscious, these early hours are crucial because the mind slows down and rests. The subconscious mind becomes more open and receptive, creating a perfect channel for inspiration. This state often produces ideas for personal projects, significant life changes, 
or creative endeavors. Carlson placed great emphasis on the nature of these ideas, which seem to arise spontaneously. She believed that they are not merely random thoughts, but are deeply connected to our higher purpose or spiritual path. These ideas can be seen as cosmic nudges, guiding us toward actions or decisions that deeply resonate with our soul's journey and its intrinsic purpose. Recognizing and preserving these ideas is vitally important. Carlson encouraged trusting our inner guidance system, a practice that consists of recognizing and appreciating the sudden insights or solutions that come to us in those early hours. Keeping a journal nearby to capture these moments of clarity is an effective way to capture these fleeting but significant insights. By documenting and reflecting on these ideas, we begin to see them not just as thoughts but as opportunities for substantial personal development and manifestation. This is consistent with Carlson's belief in the profound ability of the subconscious mind to shape our reality. It suggests that these moments of early morning clarity are more than mere coincidences, they are deeply meaningful spiritual experiences designed to guide us in our life's path and support our personal and spiritual growth. A fourth reason is that it is a profound time for spirituality. In the quiet hours between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m., many find themselves unexpectedly awake. This phenomenon, which is explored in depth in the teachings of Delora Carlson, has a special spiritual significance. Carlson, who is known for her work on altered states of consciousness, emphasized the unique nature of these hours in bridging the gap between our physical world and the spiritual realm. According to her findings, the distractions and noise of daily life disappear during these hours, creating a peaceful environment that promotes spiritual connection and introspection. This time is more than just a respite, it is an opportunity for spiritual growth and enlightenment. The veil between our conscious world and universal consciousness thins, allowing us to access deeper wisdom and guidance. It is a moment when the complexities of our daily lives fade, granting us the clarity and calm to reflect on the deep questions and mysteries of life. Carlson emphasized the value of using these early hours for introspection and meditation. This quiet time becomes a sacred space for connecting with our inner selves and the cosmos. It is an ideal setting for people seeking answers to deeply personal questions or struggling with existential dilemmas. In this heightened state of consciousness, one can gain insights and revelations that are difficult to grasp during the hustle and bustle of the day. Waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. can thus be seen as a call to spiritual awakening, an invitation to explore the depths of our consciousness and the universe. It is a time to quietly reflect, ask the big questions, and be open to the profound answers that may emerge from the stillness and quiet of the early morning hours. A fifth reason is astral projection. Our exploration of the spiritual implications of waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. brings us to the fascinating phenomenon of astral projection, a concept closely intertwined with the teachings of Delora Carlson, a remarkable researcher of metaphysical phenomena. Carlson's extensive work, particularly in regression therapy and exploring the subconscious, often highlights the significance of astral projection as a critical spiritual experience. Carlson's insights suggest a significant correlation between the 3 a.m. time frame and astral projection. This phase is often considered a spiritually active time that can enable out-of-body experiences such as astral projection. According to Carlson's observations, astral projection is an exploration that extends beyond our physical reality. It includes traveling to different planes of existence, a journey that many people have reported during regressions. These reports often describe experiences of deep knowledge and insight gained during their astral travels. The impact of astral projection on personal and spiritual growth is significant, and as Carlson's research confirms, individuals who have had such experiences often report extraordinary insights and knowledge that they could not have attained in their normal state of consciousness. This is consistent with Carlson's belief in the transformative power of these experiences and the profound impact they have on a person's spiritual journey. Carlson strongly advocated for respectful and safe exploration of astral projection. She emphasized the importance of documenting the experiences and suggested keeping a journal to reflect on and make sense of these profound journeys. This practice is consistent with her teachings on the depths of the subconscious and its role in spiritual transformation. Through astral projection, individuals can explore the vast expanses of their consciousness and the universe, gaining valuable insights and contributing to their spiritual growth and understanding. I hope this video helps you. I know I can't always answer all your questions. Please feel free to let me know in the comments what you'd like to see a video about. A sixth reason is to communicate with guardian angels. As we delve further into the spiritual significance of waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m., 
we come across the deeply comforting possibility of communicating with guardian angels. One particularly interesting example is if someone wakes up at a specific time, such as 3.33 a.m., which could be more than just a coincidence. That exact time could mean that your guardian angel is trying to make contact with you. According to many spiritual beliefs, guardian angels are heavenly guides and protectors assigned to each individual. Their role is often understood as guiding us on our life path, offering support and wisdom. Waking up at such a specific time, especially repeatedly, could be interpreted as a signal from these protective beings. It is as if they are speaking to us in our most vulnerable and quiet moments to offer us guidance or answers. This phenomenon could be especially relevant for those who have been praying, meditating, or manifesting specific desires or goals. Waking up at this hour could be your guardian angel's way of responding to your spiritual requests. It can be seen as confirmation that your prayers and manifestations are being heard and that answers are being offered in spiritual form. Experiencing a guardian angel making contact in these early hours can be incredibly comforting and encouraging. It is a reminder that we are not alone on our journey and that higher spiritual forces are always watching over us and ready to offer support and guidance. These encounters, whether they occur as feelings, thoughts, or even visions, can offer deep solace and clarity, especially during times of uncertainty or when we are seeking answers to life's bigger questions. It is a beautiful realization that in our moments of vulnerability, our own angel comes to us to help us make sense of and navigate the complexities of our thoughts and experiences. A seventh reason is that you need more self-compassion. Delving deeper into the spiritual reasons for waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m., we encounter a sign that speaks directly to our inner critic, the need for self-compassion. Often, those who find themselves awake during these hours are people who judge themselves exceptionally harshly, both in terms of the work they do and the expectations they have of their personal lives. This wakefulness may be a gentle reminder from the universe that it is time to be more lenient with yourself. It is a moment to reflect and recognize that perfectionism in every area of life is not only unrealistic, but also a source of unnecessary stress and frustration. This realization is especially significant for those who impose excessively high standards not only on themselves but also on others. When these high expectations are not met, it leads to significant disappointment and frustration. Furthermore, this pattern of setting high expectations can also come into play in personal relationships and often manifest as trust issues. There may be an underlying fear of betrayal or disappointment that makes it difficult to fully trust others. This wake-up call between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. could be an invitation to introspection and to acknowledge these deep-seated fears and anxieties. The early morning hours, quiet and undisturbed, provide the perfect backdrop for this introspection. It is an opportunity to have a dialogue with yourself and to understand that imperfections are part of being human. It is time to practice self-forgiveness and cultivate a more compassionate and understanding attitude towards yourself and others. By recognizing and addressing these inner struggles during these reflective hours, you can begin to heal and build healthier relationships with yourself and others. It's about learning to trust not only others, but also yourself, and understanding that not everything has to meet the often unattainable standards of perfection. This sign is a call to embrace vulnerability and find strength and growth in it. An eighth reason is spiritual awakening at 3 a.m. Finally, the most commonly cited reason for waking up at 3 a.m. is the experience of spiritual awakening, a concept deeply rooted in various spiritual traditions. This time is often referred to as a critical fork in the road where the barriers between the spiritual and physical worlds are weakest. It is a moment that can serve as a gateway to heighten spiritual awareness and connection. The belief is that at 3 a.m., the distractions of the physical world are minimized, allowing the spiritual realm to come into sharper focus. This time can be seen as an opportunity for the universe or your guardian angel to communicate with you more directly. It could be that something from the spiritual realm seeks your attention, be it a message, a revelation, or a call to action. For many, waking up at this particular hour is a sign that their guardian angel is trying to inform them of important news or provide guidance on an urgent topic. This communication can manifest itself in various forms. It could be an intuitive feeling, a sudden insight, or even a vivid dream that seems to have a deeper meaning. A spiritual awakening at this hour can also signal time for personal reflection and growth. It invites you to explore your spiritual path more deeply and consider the broader questions of your existence. This moment of waking up in the wee hours of the morning can be an invitation to embark on a journey of self-discovery and spiritual exploration. When we complete our exploration of the spiritual reasons for waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m., 
it becomes clear that these moments can have profound significance. From the potential for deep introspection and answering life's big questions to the possibility of receiving energetic calls from loved ones or experiencing direct communication from our guardian angels, each reason offers unique insights into our spiritual journey. So the next time you find yourself in these mystical hours, consider what the universe may be trying to tell you. These moments are not just random disruptions in your sleep pattern, they could be sacred opportunities for spiritual growth and enlightenment. Embrace them with an open heart and mind, and let the profound wisdom they offer guide you on your spiritual journey. A ninth reason could be the need for deeper emotional or spiritual balance. In the early hours between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m., your mind may be attuned to a state of heightened awareness that makes you aware of unfulfilled emotional or spiritual needs. Delora Carlson emphasized that this period often serves as a kind of inner wake-up call to focus on one's inner balance. You may be unconsciously longing for more emotional harmony or spiritual growth, and waking up at this time is a sign that you should address these aspects of your life. During the hectic pace of the day, it's easy to overlook or ignore our emotional needs. Yet in the quiet of the night, when all external distractions disappear, these needs often resurface, whether in the form of worries, unfinished thoughts, or unresolved conflicts. Carlson saw this as an opportunity to listen to himself and recognize the inner conflicts that may be crying out for attention. By confronting these thoughts and feelings in the quiet hours of the morning, you can begin to identify ways to restore your emotional and spiritual balance. It may be helpful to ask yourself at these moments what parts of your life have become unbalanced. Do you feel an inner emptiness calling for fulfillment? Are there unresolved emotions or old wounds that finally need healing? These early hours offer you a valuable chance to focus on these questions and initiate the inner changes necessary for your personal growth. Another possible reason for waking up could be the need for deep physical or mental relaxation. Carlson often emphasized the importance of the connection between body and mind in her work, and how this balance can be disturbed if one of these aspects is neglected. Waking up in these early hours may remind you that your body or mind needs more rest, care or attention. Being aware of how you are taking care of your body and mind can help you better manage the demands of your daily life. Perhaps you are feeling stressed, exhausted, or out of balance, and those hours of early waking could be a chance to take a break and give yourself the care you need. Carlson often recommended meditation or mindfulness practice during these moments to quiet the mind and guide the body into a state of relaxation. By utilizing these techniques, you can find the inner peace that may have been lost in the hustle and bustle of the day. In summary, Waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. offers many deeper meanings and possibilities beyond a simple sleep disorder. These hours can be used as precious periods of inner reflection, spiritual connection, and personal healing. By paying attention and being open to the messages that are conveyed to you in these moments, you can gain important insights into your life and your spiritual path. Delora Carlson's work underscores that there is a unique opportunity in these wee hours of the morning to connect with the deeper levels of consciousness and the universe to promote growth, healing, and transformation. I'm happy for you that you have been with us on this journey so far. If this video has touched your heart or brought you new insights, it would be wonderful if you would really support us. You can become a channel member to do that. It's easy to do using the link in the description below this video. Then you can see all new videos before they are public for everyone else. If you choose to do so, thank you. After all, we are all here to grow and learn together, and your support is the light that illuminates our path. Nikola Tesla, one of the greatest inventors and visionaries of the last century, was not only known for his groundbreaking contributions to electricity and technology, but also for his deep beliefs regarding energy, consciousness, and the universe. Tesla firmly believed that the entire universe is connected through energy and vibrations, and that human consciousness could be tuned to certain frequencies to access deeper knowledge and connect with the cosmos. In this context, Tesla would possibly consider waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. as a point of particular resonance with these universal energies. Tesla often stated that the universe functions like a vast energetic network and that all beings are connected to this energy. He believed that the human brain could act as a receiver capable of receiving information and inspiration from the ether, or universal source of energy. In his writings and conversations, he spoke of how the knowledge he received for his inventions often came to him in sudden inspirations, which he interpreted as the results of a deeper state of consciousness. It is therefore not surprising that Tesla would consider waking up in the early morning hours to be a kind of receptive moment for the human brain, when it is more open to this cosmic energy and its messages. In Tesla's view of energy and frequencies, 
the hours between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. could represent a phase in which the human frequency is particularly receptive to universal wisdom and inspiration. Tesla emphasized that the stillness of the night, when electromagnetic and physical disturbances are minimal, is the best time for deep thought and inspiration. At this time, he believed, the mind is free from the distractions of daily life and more attuned to the subtle vibrations of the universe. It is conceivable then, that Tesla viewed waking up at this hour as an opportunity to consciously connect with these energies and gain deeper insights into life, the laws of nature, and one's own existence. Another interesting element in Tesla's worldview was his strong belief in intuition and inner insights. Tesla believed that the greatest discoveries and inventions did not always come from rational thinking, but often originated in the subconscious and some kind of intuitive connection to the universe. In this sense, Tesla would have seen waking up repeatedly in the early hours of the morning as an opportunity to connect with this inner source of wisdom. Perhaps he would have recommended focusing on the inner silence in these moments to receive intuitive answers to questions that are often overlaid by external influences and mental agitation in everyday life. Tesla also believed that the universe follows a certain order and rhythm and that humans can synchronize with this rhythm to gain deeper insights and spiritual enlightenment. For him, every form of energy, be it electricity or the energy of consciousness, was part of a larger cosmic plan. He often spoke of the universe functioning like a gigantic machine, and that if you understand the laws of that machine, you can align yourself with its energies and thereby achieve extraordinary abilities. For Tesla, waking up at 3 or 4 in the morning could be a manifestation of the synchronization with the universal rhythm, a moment when the individual frequency is aligned with that of the universe, thereby producing new insights and creative ideas. Additionally, Tesla was a great advocate of meditation and the conscious use of mental states. Although he saw himself primarily as a scientist, he recognized the importance of a calm and focused mind to unlock the full potential of the human mind. He would probably have recommended using the time of nighttime awakenings to enter a meditative state, thereby not only calming the body but also elevating consciousness to a higher plane to receive deeper insights and connections. Overall then, Nikola Tesla would have regarded waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. as an extraordinary moment of cosmic resonance. For him, these hours would not be mere disturbances of sleep, but an opportunity to tap into the undisturbed frequencies of the universe and gain deeper insights into the secrets of nature and consciousness. Tesla would have considered this time sacred for connecting with the collective knowledge of the cosmos and exploring the infinite possibilities of the human mind.